Now, NBC 26 meteorologist Gino Recchia. We do have some snowfall on our way tonight, and this is not the big talk of the storm that we're chatting about. Perhaps maybe some of you have heard already later this week could be a pretty big system on our way. We've got this low pressure that'll bring in about a dusting to an inch of snow, maybe some areas near two inches. And then the system in question that'll be affecting us uh, Thursday, Friday, and maybe even lingering into Saturday morning, still over the Pacific, two waves of energy that will fuse together as they make across the east Rockies and eventually into the Midwest. So first let's talk about this system. A wide area of light snowfall from Duluth all the way down into northern Illinois, and it's very slowly moving off to the east and northeast. I think by the time we get to about 10 11 o'clock areas along and west of Highway 41, we'll be seeing some light accumulating snowfall. It's going to be a short lived system because by the time it gets here, we'll already see the back end of it approaching here from the west. While it will be a short duration, we'll see about one to two inches because of its very light fluffing consistency. One 15, most of the snow is now starting to shift onto the other side of the viewing area east of Highway 41 by about 3, 4 o'clock, just a few flurries lasting afterwards. Accumulation wise, about an inch for most of us, but if you're west of the Fox Valley, it could get around an inch to two inches of snowfall. As you can tell, it's not a big system, very easy to shovel. Now tomorrow, once the system departs, our temperatures will come crashing down into the lower teens. And when we have winds also coming in out of the west around 10, 20 miles per hour, the wind chills will be near zero in the afternoon. So after that, let's focus our attention for the next system. We already have winter storm watches in effect for Marquette, Green Lake, Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties. This is from Thursday morning into Saturday morning. The Green Bay National Weather Service office still holding off from the watch, but with their forecast discussion, it's pretty much inevitable that we will be seeing some snowfall. Heavy snow certainly possible. Eight plus inches also possible. And then what's also concerning as we get into Friday, winds will really crank up. We could see gusts approaching near 50 miles per hour, perhaps causing blizzard conditions. Very hazardous travel conditions as well. If you're trying to get out of town for the Christmas holiday on Friday, good luck. That's all I'm going to say. Now, as we head into uh, Wednesday into Thursday morning, we'll have a first initial round of snowfall. Might get a little lull late morning into the early afternoon before it cranks up again. Heavy snow, gusty winds coming in. Thursday night into the day Friday, and you can see all these pressure gradients. When you see them very tight together, that's a strong temp uh, pressure gradient, and that's when we have very strong winds coming in straight out of the north, eventually out of the northwest, which will cause some blowing and drifting. We're talking snowfall accumulations, which could easily exceed over eight inches, and even the south shores of Lake Superior with the enhanced lake effect snow, they could be talking about feet of accumulation. 22 for the overnight low temperature tonight as they rise overnight with southwest winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow will climb up to 25, but technically that's in the morning hours. Then we'll see the temperatures crashing down throughout the day, probably down into the mid teens by the afternoon. A sunny start to our Wednesday before cloudiness builds in here. Some light snow showers late Wednesday night and then the much stronger system Thursday and Friday. And behind that system, bitterly cold temperatures with wind chills near or below zero by Christmas Eve morning.